Hey Brad, so this is the 6139-8029 racing. Uh, I, I don't think anybody calls them that except me. I think I'm the only one that does that. And the reason I do that is because it's got this pretty unique bracelet style, which is like the, um, it's meant to look like the alloy spokes of a, I don't know, a 60s uh, race car. You see a lot of the those early sort of race wheels will look like this. They have this kind of look. This watch is, it's original. It's unrestored. I've, I, it's, it's, it's untouched. Um, the orange hands are still intact. They're slightly lighter than they would have been when they were brand new. Uh, they would have been sort of a, a darker hunter safety orange. Sometimes they were more of a brickish red, which is what we've got there. Uh, and when they really fade down, they start to look more like this in a yellow. Yeah, I've, I've over the years, these have come my way. And so they just kind of build up. But <clears throat> one could, this one alone by itself, that's a very, it's a very decent example. A lot of times with these, um, if the bracelets are really old and beaten, the tiny little tabs break. So you want to, whenever you get one of these, you want to make sure you get one that's in good condition with the bracelet and you don't have wear on the tabs. This one actually doesn't have a lot of wear, uh, which is nice. They're, I don't know, they're, they're a simple, clean, legible design. Um, very much of their time. Uh, I don't know. They're cool. I mean, I think, I think that they're neat. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm wearing one right now. Uh, I just, I back them. I think they're cool. They're not necessarily for everybody, but they are pretty neat. You know, I sometimes think actually that once upon a time in Hollywood, Brad Pitt should have worn one of these because it's, I think it's just a super cool watch and you never see people wearing them online. You don't see people sporting them. You don't see pictures on Instagram of these things. People just, you just don't see them. So it's something to consider. If you're looking for something neat, I could, <clears throat> this one has a chip on the hand right here, but I have original handsets to replace this. So that's, that's not really a big deal. Um, and it's possible to, to, to make one of these really, I mean, the metal here looks kind of dull, but that's because it's, it's never been serviced. This is a completely original unrestored watch. Um, it's a good looking watch. I don't know if it will do the job for you, but it's certainly, certainly a cool, interesting piece. And that's original loom and everything else like that. And I do have, as I said, um, I mean, one could, I could in theory, you know, make one that was, you know, a real fun piece like this one. I mean, this one has great hands, beautiful hands, beautiful, clean, bright loom. In fact, the blue's a little deeper too. This one, I don't think had a lot of miles on it. Nice, clean lines. I bet this one actually would clean up really nicely. Put, uh, restore this one and put it on this one's bracelet. Might be the way to do it. That's a real good idea, maybe. Because this one with that bracelet would be a, that'd be a real fun piece. Okay, you let me know.